Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela. Um, I talk about beauty, lifestyle, I do vlogs, like basically like lots of girly stuff on my channel. Um, so if you're interested, subscribe. Um, I also will link my other socials in the description. I usually don't do this, but I'm going to get into a specific topic today about hard wig soft life. Um, so there's this trend on social media where women are going around and um, talking about other women who have bad wigs because so if you don't know hard wig soft life is basically a trope about women who have bad wigs and who are chosen by rich men to be married to start a life with blah 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 so basically wealthy men if you see them with a black woman they usually have a bad wig and that's basically what hard wig soft life is about it's like a whole trope and um if you see a woman with a bad wig they're like you know not that far behind her it's so it's a white man a rich white man trailing behind her trying to get at her so i want to just talk about that today um and as you see i might be a part of the hard wig soft life community um but yeah this is a little synthetic I got from the beauty supply store. It was 40 inches, but I cut it a few days ago because I was in Florida and it was just too hot. So I cut it into like an asymmetrical bob and it's synthetic, but it got nice lace. But anyway, it's not about that. So you guys know that, you know, if a woman has a bad wig, she is going to be having a soft life. A man is going to be taking care of her. Um, he's going to be a very wealthy, rich man. And basically that's what hard wig soft life means. So I wanted to talk about kind of like how I don't really like that because first of all, I see women um, getting like kind of harassed on social media, like other women going on their page and, and seeing how their man is taking care of them and, and seeing how their man is um, providing for them and how she's with a uh, wealthy or rich man. And they will go on the woman's page and be like, oh, hard wig, soft life, hard wig, soft life. Or uh, when I seen your wig, I knew before they were like, oh, when I seen your wig, before I went to your page, I knew you was going to have a, a rich white man. And it's just not necessary to say all that. Like, that's like damaging people's self-esteem. Like, they could have put that wig on and thought they looked good. And then here you come. And, you know, it's it was funny at first, but now it's like a whole thing where basically women... They'll go around and, and see a woman who has a bad wig and, and talk crap about her or about her wig um, or about how she looks just because um, she's with a rich white man and they correlate the two these days. So it's just not OK to point that out. Like, it's just rude. Um, some people don't play like that. Like, it's just not OK. Um, and the women that I've seen who said that their wigs don't look that much better. So I just don't think it's like appropriate to go on people's pages and comment that because you never know, like unless it's not even like your friends, like that's just not okay. Like don't do that. It's not funny. It's not cute. Just don't do that. Like it's rude. So that's like my, that, that was my kind of take on it. I don't like how people are like going on people's pages and, and talking about it. Like it was like a little kiki, like it was cute at first, but it's not necessary. Let's not do that. But anyway, um, yeah, I just saw somebody get cussed out on TikTok because they were like hard wig, soft life, and the woman didn't take it lightly. She didn't like that. So, um, yeah, I don't, I just don't think it's necessary. Um, and when, if I look down, I'm, I have notes. So, yeah. So, second is, um, it's about this whole thing these days about, I love that women are leveling, leveling up. They're listening to Shira Seven or listening to all these different women who are promoting um, date to date up. I love that. I love to see women leveling up. Even myself, I've leveled up, honey. I have leveled up. I was always getting treated um, very well by men. I never had to pay for nothing, never paid bills if a man was in sight. So... Um, I've always been on that, but I've definitely leveled up and took it to another level and I will continue to level up. So I am all for it. I'm all for it. I love it. But it's just the thing about how there are gurus and stuff that are making women pay them, like women who may or may not, like you don't really know what's going on behind the scenes in their life. And they're 
starting up like pages where they make women pay them to give them a specific anecdote or they're making them subscribe to something or put out money to um, get some help to find a man. And I know some people that have been scammed for that. So I just don't think it's necessary like to do all that. Like it's nice to follow a person's page and take some tips, but if you feel pressured into paying this person to tell you to do this, blah, 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 and that person not even directly like setting you up with a man, then I just don't think it's ne- like, I just don't think it's necessary. Like, I don't think people should be doing that. And I feel like it's kind of like exploitation. So I follow like Shira Seven, right? And she has a Patreon and she has, um, she has a YouTube channel that she posts on like almost like weekly. Like she posts on there, she'll go live, she'll talk to you guys, answer your questions. But she also has a Patreon. She has um, like high tier subscribers and all that. Where, they're, where her subscribers can pay to access more information and, um, I mean, access more content and be able to talk to her directly, which I think is okay um, because she's not pressuring people she, to buy her um, things. Um, she does promote it, but she doesn't, like, pressure people. And you don't have to um, to get access to her content. Like, she has hundreds and hundreds of videos on her um, YouTube that are free. You can just watch so um, be careful of people who only are um, putting out content if they're getting some type of financial gain from you, like directly, like you have to buy a Patreon or you have to do this, you have to do that. So be wary of that. Um, and also, I wanted to say that stop making these women feel like you got to do too much to go find a, a rich man or to go find a man, period. Like, you are a woman. You are the prize. You are the prize. He is supposed to come find you. It's okay if you want to go sit at at the bar, buy a drink. Um, That's like being social. That's going into a social environment. But stop trying to do too much. And it just gets pick-me-sha when you're, like, just doing too much to, like, find a rich man. You're, like, doing that, doing that. Like, just live your life. And, like, literally, he will come. Literally. And it's okay, like, if you're on dating apps or if you're doing this, doing that. I don't recommend dating apps anymore. I'm, <laughs> they're too much. But, um, but yeah, like, I definitely go out to, like, hotel bars and stuff and um, do that. Um, I've done that before, and then I've met people. So, um, but just not doing too much to the point where it just gets Pignisha vibes. Like, you know you're doing too much. Um, so just don't do all that and yeah like these women are like selling spells and stuff like that's just too much come on now you don't need to do all that to find a man and if you're doing that to find a man then there's something that you have to fix with you because if you if it takes all that for you to find a man it's it just means that there's something wrong with you you got to get right and you have to heal and I don't know have there's something going on with you you have to get right Anyway, um, the next point I also wanted to talk about, oh, it's like piggy, piggybacking off what I just said, um, is the idea that women must pursue men. Like, no, you're the woman, you're the prize, and a provider man, that those type of men that you want, the wealthy, the provider man, he is going to make sure, he is going to pursue you. If you're doing too much, being all up in his face and, and pr- trying to pursue him and and run around him and and do all this stuff for him to make it seem like it's going to make it seem like you're the masculine energy like you're bringing the masculine energy you should be bringing the feminine energy he should want to pursue you i've been with men who who have said oh i don't spend money on women i don't do that i don't do that but when they came around me they've done it they've spent money they've done that they did that they paid bills so it's all about you and your feminine energy like you don't bring like you don't pursue the man he pursues you you are the prize like i said earlier you are the prize you are the woman you he pursues you and you sit back and and you present yourself and if he if he pursues you he pursues you if not then not then you move on like there's no going back and forth like stop going back to those exes stop doing all that like you are the woman he pursues you period period so um, I really wanted to reiterate that because I've been seeing women like saying, what should I do? What can I do? Don't do nothing. Look cute. 
go to a cocktail, like a hotel bar, a bar in an area where there's lots of um, like business offices and stuff. And that's it. Or go on a dating app, set up your profile, look real cute. That's it, look cute. That's all you have to do as a woman. Look cute, be feminine, and he will come in due time. And it's not like such a quick fix. Like it's not just such a quick thing that's gonna happen. Like some, some days it might be, like some day it might be, but not all the time. Sometimes you'll go to the hotel bar and not meet anyone because it's, it's a slow day. Or it's, you know, not anyone going out or whatever. So, yeah, you don't pursue men. They pursue you. Stop doing that. Give him Patricia. So, um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was why wealthy men don't like bust downs. This, go, this goes back to the hard wig thing. Wealthy men don't want you to have a 40-inch hot pink bust down. They are not looking for that because also the personalities like that come off with that. Like usually, I mean, I don't want to stereotype, but usually when you see women out with like hot pink wigs and like outrageous looks and stuff, they aren't the Marian material. They are not marriage material. They're, they're not. It's just the truth. It's just the truth. Or if you see a woman out with a bonnet, you're not marriage material. You're not. You may think you are, but you're not. Don't do that in public. It, it, definitely like a wealthy man is definitely not, a wealthy provider man is definitely not with you. He's not, no, absolutely not. You look bad. You look bad in public. People talk about you, um, which I mean, I mean, people talk about me all the time, but, and I look fine, but still like not in a good way. Like it's, you just look like a pygmisha. You just look bad, and it's the truth. And a wealthy man isn't going to pursue you if you out and about it, out and about. Go out looking nice. Go out looking like a wife. Go out looking like marriage material. Stop. You're looking for a wealthy man, and you got a pink bust down or um, a chunky one of the, those like chunky, chunky highlighted ugly wigs. That's like all bust down and stuff. Like, no, stick to natural colors. Like, this is if you're serious about wanting to date and marry a wealthy man. Go out in natural colors. Go out in hairstyles that look natural. Go out looking like a million bucks. Have some like little um, earrings in. Have your makeup nice, light, natural, but still like good. Go out in nice clothing, not Fashion Nova um, type of clothes. You know, like the BBL fashion. No. That's another thing, the BBL fashion. It's the way you present yourself. That's why you're attracting low vibrational people. Um, Dusty Dance and Raekwon down the street. Stop hanging out in those areas. Stop dressing like one of them. Um, go stop speaking like one of those. Um yeah also the nail thing like stick to natural colors mine aren't done right now and i'm giving them a break because um i have health problems and i've been losing my hair um even on my eyebrows and, and my lashes and stuff i've been losing my hair and my nails haven't been healthy my skin like i've been going through it i'm trying i've been going to the, i've been going to the doctor to get it all figured out um i have a doctor's appointment actually tomorrow to talk about my test results and everything so Pray for me, but yeah, I've been going through that. That's why my like nails, hair, skin is just uh, my skin has been getting better. But yeah, but anyway, um, yeah, like just the part. Like if you see when you see like a, a wealthy um, housewife, she's not in a pink bust down. She is not out in BBL fashion. She doesn't even have a BBL. So dress and act the part. Fake it till you make it, even if you're not like that. If you want a wealthy man, act like it. So yeah, guys, um, that's all I really wanted to talk about um, is the hard wig soft life, how it could be like damaging to women when you're comment commenting that on their pages. It's not cute. It's not funny. Some people don't take it lightly. Um, some people aren't going to laugh about it. So um, yeah, 
that's all I want to talk about. Thank you for coming to my channel, listening to me. Um, it was really nice speaking with you. And I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you look at my description for my socials so we can stay in contact. And I'll talk to you later.